Hi guys, how's it going? I, um, I've been mixing paint a lot lately and I realized I have a lot of these little deco art and folk art and Americana paints that I've used a little bit of but not much and I have a whole mess of them that are like a, only have like maybe half to three quarters of the paint in them so what I decided to do is I took my blues and I've already done this is I'm going to turn around and mix all of those because it's kind of ridiculous to try to mix um, just enough paint for what you really want or use and you either mix too much or too little uh, for just one painting. So I decided that the best thing I could do is I'm going to mix all of these and I'm going to call it Judy's Purple Bomb. And it gives me a chance to use up all of these little bottles of paint oh. and um, make a unique uh, paint color in the process. So um, some of these are really thick on the bottom, so I just put a little bit of Floetrol in there. Whoops. Uh, luckily I keep something here to clean up little messes. And this is a good way to get some of the excess paint out of the bottom of the bottle when it doesn't feel like coming out. So I'm just going to mix this up. The flow trial will make it a little bit more runny so you can get more of the paint out of the bottle. Um, so we're going to dump the rest of this in here. There we go. That's pouring out nicely now. And the colors that I'm mixing are a combination of metallics and non-metallic colors. So the color will have a bit of a metallic hue to it afterwards. All right. Um, I'm going to turn this one on its side and let it sit so I can get the rest out later. Um, and then I'm going to add a touch of purple, um, purple flash to this. Because um, I, I love having that little bit of the, the flash paint in there. Um, so, and this is a good way if you have like a bunch of small, um, of these little bottles of paint to um, kind of combine similar colors and create your own color. And I already did this with the blues. And this is what I came up with with all the blues I had in the house, um, like the little blues. Uh, so I called it Judy's Blue Bomb, so this one's gonna be Judy's Purple Bomb. Um, and it's, it's just a nice way to, A, you know, to kind of declutter some of the uh, all these little bottles that I have and kind of mix them up and use them to where it's it's going to be something that I can you know show off and we're going to put just a touch of the uh, purple flash in here I know I don't have much of this left but we'll use some There we go, that's a good amount. And let's see, I have a deco art. We're gonna put this in here. And let's see, do I have a darker purple? Perfect purple. Let's see how this, oh yeah, it's another nice dark one. And if you want um, your purple to be a little bit more on the violet side, other than, well, I should say on the blue side, over and above the red side, you can always put a little bit of, um, and we're gonna, a little bit of flow trial in here and 
get this shaken up. But this is a really cool way to um, use up a bunch of your paints and create something that's kind of just unique. You know, it's not a standard color that anybody will actually have. And this is, for some reason, not shaking. Let's see if we can get this out now. There we go. particular paint is annoying the hell out of me for some reason. So I'm going to clean up and I will be back in one minute. 